Hey you all. Google recently announced Gemini CLI, which is a AI code assisting tool in your CLI. Something very similar to Claude code. So in this video, uh, I am going to show you a fun comparison of using both Claude Claude and Gemini CLI to build an application. But before I jump into that, let me quickly uh, walk you through the steps that I have taken prior to the video uh, to set up Gemini. Now, to set up the Gemini CLI, you can run either of these commands uh, from your terminal. And once you have Gemini installed, you can run Gemini command in your terminal. When you do that, you, it's going to ask you to set up a theme that you can select. It has like a, quite a few nice uh, UI themes that you can select from. After you do that, uh, the next step would be to authenticate yourself. Now there are two different ways to do that. You can either use your pro account. So if you have a Gemini pro account, you can just authenticate yourself against that. But if you don't have that, you can also like generate an API key for this uh, using GCP and use that uh, token or use that uh, key to authenticate yourself. All right. Uh, I am using a uh, Gemini Pro account, uh, so I did not have to go through the whole step of creating the uh, API key and configuring it in here. But the GitHub repo contains all the steps that you need for this. I already have the Cloudflare uh, documentation MCP server configured with Cloud Code, so I went ahead and did that with Gemini CLI as well. You can to do that, you will have to open up the uh, settings.json file for Gemini. Add your MCP server's uh, JSON object in there and you should be good to go. All right, uh, now let's jump into the fun part of the video. Now over here, I have like a prompt for an application. I want to build a, a Huna application, which should be showing static assets uh, for the UI. What I want to do is get the input from the user, use workers AI to generate an image from that input. And because it's summer over here in Berlin, uh, I wanted to have like a summer wire. So that's basically the prompt that I have for my application. Now I am going to copy this and go to my terminals. I have two different terminal windows open in here and I'm going to start a new Cloudflare worker project from scratch. They are going to have like the same, uh, setup only like different names. This one is going to be used for Gemini. So I'm going to say Gemini CLI app. I am going to use a framework again, as I mentioned, I want to use Hono. So I'm going to go with Hono. I'm going to run the same, uh, for a Claude code app. Again, going to go with Hono. This is going to set up our application. I'm going to go with Git, and I don't want to deploy the application. We have the Gemini app bootstrap for us. So let's navigate into it. And I'm going to create a terminal for this one. Again, doing the same thing for a Claude app. We don't want to deploy it. I'm going to say no. And let's get into it. All right, now I'm going to start with Claude code. So I'm going to call Claude code in here, paste in my prompt, hit enter. I'm going to do the same with Gemini. It's checking for auth. When it has done, we execute this. Now as seen on the Claude code terminal, we have, it has come up with a plan. It's going to execute this for us. And as we see for our Gemini app, it has also configured, uh, come up with a plan and is asking me to do things. Now, one thing is kind of interesting for me in here is it's asking me to install Hono, but it should not really do. So I'm going to say no. I'm going to say the packages should be installed, right? So ask it to check it. Now it has checked the files, which is good. The cloud code is now asking me to generate an R2 bucket, which I want to do it by myself. So I'm going to ask it not to do that. All right now coming back to Gemini, it's asking me that it should be, it needs worker types, which is not necessary. So I'm going to just ask it if it's necessary. Cloud code has generated the bindings that we need for our application, which is good. I'm going to say, yes, let's go ahead and do this for me. Gemini is now is, is asking me to update, uh, the index.ts file. I'm going to say, go ahead, always do it. All right. Uh, both of them are now writing the code. They are going to hopefully make the required changes and give us like some good UI. I, I see Gemini has created some UI for us, 
which is in the index.html file, which is perfect. Again, we are using static assets. So we want the UI to be served from the static assets. It has added the bindings and added the routes, which is good. And as we can see in here, Claude has also added the uh, code for our backend. It is now checking how static assets should be served, which is interesting. It should not really do it, but I'm going to let it uh, <laughs> do whatever it wants to do for now. All right. Okay. It is now building a summer theme front end with a form, which is really good. Uh, oh, wow. Okay. I think Gemini already created the application for us. Uh, it says it has uh, completed the initial steps. There are two routes in our index.html file. Uh, we have a static assets in here. We have everything created there. It also suggests that, Hey, you should go ahead and create an auto bucket. Uh, and then you can run the application with npm run dev. All right. Now, before we do that, uh, I want to check the code. So, uh, hold on. Let me open up the project in the editor. All right. So here is the code that Gemini has generated for us. And we can see that there are a few type script errors, which should not be doing using server static because workers already take care of this as we have the static assets binding in here. It also has a couple of like uh, type script errors, which is interesting. It should not have that. So let's go ahead and ask Gemini to fix this. All right. So now I am telling uh, Gemini that there are TypeScript errors and it is not using static assets correctly. It should check that. And we have the code complete for Claude code. So let's go ahead and check what Claude code generated for us. So I have the app open up in here. Uh, if I go to my index.html, looks fine, I guess. If I open my index.ts file and we do have types one type script error, but apart from that, I don't think there is anything else. One thing again, I am noticing is it's not doing static assets correctly. You don't really need to have an endpoint to do this, but let's just run this and see how it performs. So if I navigate to look 8787, it is a good looking. I think it's a decent looking UI. I would say, let me zoom out a bit. It's a decent looking UI, uh, Berlin in summer, like it's very weak. It's going to generate the image for, uh, now again, before it executes the AI function, I need to configure my, uh, account that I want to use with workers AI. So I'm going to go with my employee account. Now that it has access to that, it is going to generate an image. All right. While it does th that, I am going to check with Gemini and see if it made any changes. I am coming in here and I don't see much improvement. There are still errors in here. Like there are still TypeScript errors in here. So let's ask it to fix it again, right in here. All right. Uh, while it is happening, the image was generated successfully, which was fantastic, but it did not render out the image, which is not fun. Okay. So I'm going to ask our code again to fix it. I know what the error is, but I am going to cloud figure it out. But just between you and me, uh, it is something to do with how the response is being written by workers AI. So the model would might be uh, returning a different uh, response than what Claude is expecting. And that's what Claude need to fix in there. Gemini wants to install packages, which are not really required. All right, let's see who would be able to give us a good working application. Till now, Claude code is kind of winning the race. See, uh, Gemini might be able to, you know, beat Claude code. Also, one thing I am noticing is it's not using the MCP server because that are uh, in the documentation, it mentions what it needs to do. So it's not really sure, sure what it does. As you can see, Claude code now is using like the MCP server to find out the information, but I think Claude code is doing a good job because it uh, used the MCP server, went to the docs, found out an example, uh, made a few changes and it also like found a GitHub, uh, wrapper that Christian created. Uh, so it's going to refer that and use that as a reference. You're going to say, yes, just use github.com whenever you want. I see Gemini CLI has also made a few changes to our application, which is good. Uh, all right. Uh, let's jump back to the code. This is what Gemini CLI generated and still is giving me an error, which is interesting. I think it's still not able to properly understand how to work with, uh, TypeScript or like with types here. I 
I'm gonna give it a proper instruction. But before that, let me just tell Claude to do its thing. All right. Uh, so well, I am telling Gemini that there are still errors and it's not following the best practice that it should use the MCP server to fix those things. All right. Uh, and Claude is now fixing things or the email is not returning, but I think it's doing a lot more than that. So let's hold on to it. See what it ends up with doing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You can kill the server. We don't want the server running right now. Still it. It'll be fine. I still don't understand why Gemini wants to install the packages which are not really required. At this point, I'm just going to say, all right, just go ahead and do it. All right. Claude is now asking to run the server. Let's run the server. I mean, I want to run me the command angular types. All right. Do that. Uh, it's, okay. I'm just going to let Gemini do its thing. I'm just going to say, go ahead, do whatever you want to do. Claude is now asking me to run the generate endpoint. I'm going to say, yeah, just go ahead and run the call command. Interestingly, now Gemini figured out that it does not need the Cloudflare workers type package. It's re-evaluating the approach. This is what we wanted to do. While Claude is restarting the development server. All right. So Gemini has hopefully solved the issues that we were having. So let's look at the code. We do have an error in here, which is for now fine, I would say. And it is still doing static assets wrong, but I'm going to ignore it for now. Uh, so this looks good. I am going to check if it is running. Claude is running at a uh, server. So I'm going to give permission to Claude. Come back to our Gemini app and start the server. We're going to run npm and dev. It's going to do port 8787. This is a good, good uh, UI. Let's Click on generate. Now generating the image. Again, I would need to uh, authenticate myself. So I'm going to use my employee account. And we ran into an error. Awesome. Nice. So I'm, I'm going to now copy this uh, error code and tell Gemini to fix it. While before that, let's just give Claude the permission. And I'm going to tell Gemini that I ran the error. Yeah, let's just kill the development server. Now Gemini is asking me permission to use the MCP server. Just go ahead, use it, use all the tools and get me an app working. But I, I'm not sure now what exactly is Claude trying to do here. I see it's it has made changes. It has run the type gen command, but it is running into some issues of trying to run the application. So let's give it time to fix that. But uh, looking at what Gemini did, I still feel it is not using the correct model because if I come in here, I still get a TypeScript error. It's not correct. What I would want to do is to flux. This is what we want to do. Anyways, uh, I'm going to save this. I'm going to come back to Gemini app. Start so again. Let's refresh this and try to generate a new image. Hopefully this should now generate an image for us. It did not. We are running into an error with putting the object to what? All right, uh, I'm going to kill this server. I'm going to go back to our Claude app, start this over there and test what Claude did for us. I'm going to refresh this because they are running on the same port. This is the, again, the app generated by Claude. Let's see what it generates for us. We are getting the logs now. Received image generation request generating image it generated the image it stored the image and it is serving the image all right so claude was successfully able to create this application for us but with gemini we are running into issues now i can go ahead and like you know pass on this error message to gemini ask it to fix it but i feel we have a clear winner over here but anyways uh this was like a fun little experiment that i want to try out with both Gemini CLI and Claude. Now, again, for both of these applications, I am using Cloudflare's MCP servers. I have configured them to use those servers. It makes it a bit more easy for the AI to understand the context, fetch the relevant information from the documentation or from my Cloudflare account and perform the required actions by itself. Now, if you are trying out Gemini CLI, I am curious to know about your experience. Do let me know how you feel about using uh, Gemini CLI and what's your take on it. Thank you for watching this and I hope to see you in the next one. Ciao.